Saudi Arabia has said it will begin lifting the blockade of Yemen after thousands of Yemenis took to the streets of Sana'a Sunday to condemn the continued sodiled bombings of their country, which includes the coalition's air, sea and land blockade. Related 1 million cholera Yemen cases likely by year's end, Red Cross the march proceeded from the offices of the United Nations, with some demonstrators chanting death to Saudi Arabia, death to Israel and death to the U.S. Protesters not only carried signs denouncing the siege but also wielded banners slamming the international community's silence in the face of the war and subsequent humanitarian crisis. Saudi Arabia and its allies announced the indefinite siege after a missile strike, allegedly originating from Yemeni, hit Riyadh's international airport. The UN has asked Saudi Arabia to lift the blockade as soon as possible, warning that the measure could have a tremendously negative impact on a situation that is already catastrophic, according to Hispan TV. Since the bombing campaign against Yemen began in 2015, the UK has licensed roughly $4.2 billion in weapons to Saudi Arabia, according to Press TV. Related UN compromises on investigation of war crimes in Yemen in early June, the U.S. Department of Defense also confirmed a $750 million military sale to Saudi Arabia. It included U.S.-made missiles, bombs, armored personnel carriers, warships, munitions, and a blanket order training program for the Saudi security forces receiving the military equipment both inside and outside the kingdom, Reuters reported. Amid the bombing and devastation, which has killed over 33,000 people and forced more than a million to flee their homes, Yemen also faces a severe cholera outbreak that has claimed the lives of at least 2,119 people according to Alexander Fett, head of the International Committee of the Red Cross. Since a bloody war began in March 2015, more than 33,395 people have been killed or injured, according to figures from a human rights center. The UN asserts that delivery of humanitarian aid has been drastically hampered due to the indefinite blockade. Meanwhile, Wolfgang Jammin, head of the Cooperative for Assistance and Relief, a non-governmental humanitarian agency, described the ongoing crisis in Yemen as being an absolute shame on humanity.